Well, all right, everyone, let's get started. I want to thank you for joining us today. My name is Steve Coburn, and we're going to learn a little bit more about the value of the Autodesk Building Design Suite uh, 2014. Here's our agenda for today. First, we'll talk about the industry trends that the technology in the world uh, for building design suite, referred to as our BDS, can address. Then we'll talk about the value of the BDS that is specific to engineers and highlight what's new in the 2014 version. Next, we're going to show you the BDS tools in action by covering some compelling engineering workflows. We're then going to spend some time on how to move to BIM and what the next steps will be. And finally, I'll tell you how to find out more about the BIM Design Suite. So with that, let's get started. Industry trends. There are some key trends that are driving change and opportunities in the AC industry for our improved sustainability. Urbanization. Over 50% of the world's population now live in cities and this trend will only continue. McKinsey One estimates that in the year 2030, 5 billion people will live in urban areas. That's an increase from 3.5 billion today. China and India alone will see an additional 500 million citizens move to their cities. The availability of cheap natural resources such as energy, water, materials, and land is diminishing. This is where sustainability and economics intersect and are driving transformation in our industry. Energy and water in particular are major components in the cost of operations for corporations and municipal governments. So, investors, consumers, and communities all have an interest in converting to more efficient ways of constructing and managing buildings and infrastructure, infrastructure over the life cycle. Today's marketplace is intensely competitive. The global recession has dramatically affected the level of new construction and changed expectations for the bottom line. Owners and AEC service providers need to achieve more with less and deliver projects faster and with less environmental impact in order to compete and win. AEC projects are getting more complex. With increasing requirements for sustainability or collaboration, projects are getting more and more complicated. You now need to coordinate and, co and communicate design, materials, schedules, budgets, and compliance across a dispersed team of stakeholders. There is also an explosion of new technology, including cloud computing and mobile access helping to change the way we work and giving us greater access to ever-growing amounts of data. Powerful computing capability is making analysis possible earlier, setting expectations for realistic visualizations, and creating even more data to manage. At Autodesk, we believe that Building Information Modeling, or BIM, holds the key to alleviating many of the business challenges that architects, engineers, construction professionals and owners face. Building information modeling is an intelligent model based process that provides insight for creating and managing buildings projects faster, more economically, and with less environmental impact. BIM provides a way to gain greater project insight earlier in the design process to make more informed decisions, creating value at every step of the project lifecycle. A global market analysis and forecast done by Pike Research in 2012 on building information modeling concluded that, quote, for those who are or have been using BIM tools and collaboration techniques for a longer period of time, BIM has proven to be remarkably successful in the quality of the results that it can produce. As for building owners and financiers, BIM has driven costs down and made the estimation process more accurate. Additionally, BIM helps facilitate more visibility and interaction in the overall design-build process for the owners of a building, enabling them to take a more active role in determining the final outcome of capital-intensive projects." End quote. In addition, Pike Research also suggests that, quote, as energy conservation and carbon emissions become increasingly important 
on a global basis, the adoption of BIM tools and practices will become a higher priority since it, since it can significantly affect the efficient use of valuable and scarce resources. According to Pike Research, early adopters of BIM tools and practices can gain a significant advantage over their competitors. End quote. Most BIM applications will be performed on new construction activities, although building retrofits provide a sizable market as well. One of the main reasons for performing a retrofit is to reduce energy consumption, and the latest BIM tools support this work through the availability of rapid energy modeling technologies. Some benefits of BIM can be experienced on a user's first few projects, such as reduced errors and emissions, rework and cycle time of workflows. Others require longer time frames to demonstrate their value, such as reduced cost, scheduling claims, or maintaining repeat business and increasing profits. The top percentage gainers include increased profits. This rating expanded by 70% from a 21% and the next to last position in 2009 to 36% in 2012. This could drive use of BIM in the future as BIM processes become more standardized and the initial cost of adoption and implementation are amateurized. Firms using BIM have the ability to see a sustained impact on profitability. Fewer claims in litigation. This benefit grew by 40% from 2009, growing from a 20% in 2009 to 28% in 2012. This indicates a growing belief that as more problems are avoided during construction and claims measurably diminish, this will be a reliable benefit. Reducing overall project duration. This metric requires a substantial number of completed projects in order to be validated. And if the trend of increased importance continues, growing from 27% in 2009 to 37% in 2012, Reduced project duration will become a powerful ingredient of a quantifiable BIM benefit calculation. The research shows higher levels of importance for the 10 of the 11 BIM benefits rated compared to the 2009 results. Interestingly, the largest percentage increases occur with benefits that take longer to validate, reflecting the increasing length of time BIM has been in the market and the increasing maturity of BIM users in evaluating its benefits. BIM usage is increasing all across the board. Quote, Architects have consistently been the heaviest BIM users due to the length of time they have been involved with BIM. They are projected to reach an industry topping level of 75% at the intensity in 2014. Engineers reported the least adoption of BIM in 2009 at 42%, so they had more light users at 41% than other categories. However, in keeping with their surge in BIM adoption from 2009 to 2012, light uses is projected to drop to 12% by 2014, and over two-thirds at 69% predict being at heavy 26% or very heavy 43% use levels by 2014. Contractors who now lead the industry in overall BIM adoption also show the most dramatic changes in implementation from 2009 to 2014. First of all, the ranks of very heavy users will almost triple from 21% in 2009 to 55% in 2014. Secondly, light users drop from over one-third at 37% in 2009 to only 6% in 2014. And last, over 80% say they will be at a heavy set at a heavy 27% or a very heavy 55% implementation level by 2014. Owners topped the light user category in 2009 to 2012 at over 40% each time, but only 7% of the 2012 research respondents believe they will still be at that level in 2014, and 44% of them predict they will be at a very high level of implementation by 2014. End quote. While these trends will shape the building industry over a long period of time, Many firms are facing immediate business challenges, such as how to win new work, meet client requirements for BIM and sustainable design, and delivering projects more efficiently to increase profitability. 
Firms facing these challenges must find ways to alleviate them by improving their business processes. They must examine how the services they provide will prepare them for the future demands of the industry and clients. They must understand why more owners and governments are requiring building information modeling and how they can meet this need. And finally, firms must find ways to work with project stakeholders more collaboratively to improve the design and building process. With the Autodesk Building Design Suite, you can do all of this. So, let's talk about how the Building Design Suite supports the needs of engineering firms today. Autodesk Building Design Suite is a comprehensive software solution that combines building information modeling and CAD tools to help you design, simulate, visualize, document, and build better buildings. The Building Design Suite can help you to design and build better buildings with intelligent 3D model based design, improve collaboration between team members and project stakeholders, also, produce compelling visualizations to present ideas more clearly. Use integrated analysis to help inform design and construction decisions. Create consistent documentation with greater accuracy and efficiency. And last, improve control over project outcomes with more valuable insight across the building lifecycle. Noted by the stars, a few of these are only capable with the Building Design Suite Premium and Ultimate Editions. The Building Design Suite represents an evolution of our suites for building professionals and contains many unique capabilities that can help you design and communicate more effectively with interoperability and more powerful workflows that are not feasible with standalone products. Autodesk Building Design Suite is created to be a comprehensive end-to-end -end software solution that combines building information modeling and CAD tools to help you design, analyze, visualize, and build better buildings. Another thing that makes the suite offering unique is that the Premium and Ultimate Editions include a suite exclusive version of Autodesk Revit software that combines specialized tools for architectural design, MEP engineering, and structural engineering that are part of the standalone versions of Revit in one comprehensive application. This enables you to gain access to a broader set of tools that can help you collaborate more effectively with other building design disciplines on the Revit platform. There's a revolution underway and you may have been hearing about Autodesk 360. This is Autodesk's way to connect you to the virtually infinite computing power of cloud-based services and a digital workspace for design and collaboration. Anyone can have a free Autodesk 360 account with access for storage and collaboration. And if your building design suite software is on subscription, you get access to a lot more. Finally, what really differentiates the building design suites is the powerful workflows you can use, which are enabled by an expanded tool set and unique interoperability across the products in the suite. Plus, the suite offers an economical and convenient way for customers to access their design software of choice. You may be asking what software is included. Autodesk Building Design Suite 2014 is available in three editions, the Standard, Premium, and the Ultimate. You may not use every product in the suite. However, the value of the suite pricing means that even if you just use just two components, you'll realize significant savings over purchasing the software separately. Autodesk Building Design Suite 2014 Standard is ideal for you if you're a building designer, drafter, or detailer who needs a foundational set of tools to help you efficiently design doc and document and share drawings using the DWG technology. It includes the latest releases of AutoCAD, as well as AutoCAD Architecture and AutoCAD MEP, which are the versions of AutoCAD software specifically for the building industry. It also includes Autodesk Showcase, which is 3D presentation, and 3D visualization software, which provides easy to use presentation and design exploration tools to enable you to communicate your ideas more effectively. Sketchbook Designer, which is exclusive to the design and creation suites, enables you to create breakthrough conceptual design sketches for AutoCAD software. New to the suite are AutoCAD Raster Design, 
which is a raster to vector conversion software, and Autodesk Recap software, which will revolutionize how you can capture design information and bring it into your software. Autodesk Building Design Suite 2014 Premium Edition adds to the software in the Standard Edition. It's ideal for architects who need an optimized set of tools that includes AutoCAD software and adds the power of building information modeling with Autodesk Revit 2014 software. It also includes Autodesk 3ds Max Design 2014 software for even more compelling visualizations and Navisworks Simulate, which provides advanced tools for simulation and powerful features to help you better communicate project information. Autodesk Building Design Suite 2014 Ultimate builds on the Premium Edition and is for architecture, engineering, and construction professionals who need the power of BIM plus additional advanced tools for design and construction. This suite includes Autodesk Inventor and an even more advanced version of Navisworks, Navisworks Manage, that includes all the capabilities Navisworks Simulate plus clash detection and interference management capabilities. The suite includes Robot Structural Analysis Professional, which provides structural engineers with advanced building simulation and analysis capabilities, ideal for large complex structures. The Ultimate Edition also includes Autodesk InfraWorks software for those who need to quickly and easily create 3D site plan proposals. The three editions of Autodesk Building Design Suite 2014 have varying Autodesk 360 cloud service entitlements. All editions on Autodesk Description have basic storage, view, and collaboration entitlements. Cloud credits are units of measure that are used to pay for use of add-on services. The Building Design Suite standard on Subscription includes rendering with Autodesk 360 and the Green Building Studio web-based energy analysis software that can help architects and designers perform whole building analysis, optimize energy efficiency, and work toward carbon neutrality earlier in the design process. Benefits are cumulative, so BDS Premium on subscription customers get everything I've just mentioned, plus access to structural analysis for Autodesk Revit and energy analysis for Revit. Ultimate customers add optimization for Inventor and Autodesk InfraWorks 360 which complement the products in the suite. Now that we've gone through some industry trends and how the Autodesk Building Design Suite plays a role in addressing some of the more immediate business challenges firms face, let's dive in and call out some of the new features in the Building Design Suite that are most compelling for engineers. Autodesk is always striving to improve and expand software capabilities. And of course, this latest release is no exception. As we've discussed, the BDS is created to help support comprehensive building design workflows. So let's talk about what's new in the 2014 release specific to design, visualization, simulation, and documentation. Autodesk Recap is a new product that provides powerful, integrated, easy to use services that create intelligent 3D data from laser scans and photos. Rather than beginning with a blank sheet, Autodesk Recap enables any designer, architect, or engineer to add, modify, validate, and document their design processes more accurately in context from existing environments. Autodesk Recap delivers powerful and easy to use workflow on the desktop and in the cloud to create intelligent 3D data from laser scans and captured photos. The 2014 release of Revit makes using point cloud data even better and easier than before with improved performance and usability. A new point cloud engine enables you to link RCP and RCS format point clouds into a project. The point cloud tool can also be used to index raw format point clouds to the RCP RCS formats. New visibility and graphics override options allow you to control the color mode for the point cloud display. Bottom line is, is, is faster interaction and greater performance. Shifting to the MEP engineering specific features, Revit 2014 now allows you to place air terminals directly on ducts. You can model your duct system to reflect real world installations with the ability to place or host air terminal devices directly on the face of a duct and have air propagate correctly in the system. 
This has been a long-standing request that enables you to model real-world design scenarios by easily dragging and auto-snapping to sides and bottom of ducts, helping you to more accurately represent air terminal design. Another great new MEP feature is the ability to restrict the available angles when adding or modifying pipe, duct, conduit, or cable tray with controls to model according to industry standards. Piping may now be limited to specific angles, while duct, conduit, and cable tray may be limited to specific angles or incremented angles. And overall, this feature helps you to improve design with the ability to route MEP systems more easily using standard angles for greater accuracy. The new Cap Open Ends feature allows you to model more efficiently by adding caps on open ends of pipe and duct quickly and easily to create properly closed networks for more accurate airflow. You can add end caps to duct and pipe routing preferences to automatically add end caps to any open segments of the system. You can also choose to select individual or groups of pipe or duct content and then use the button cap open ends to add caps to all open ends of the selected content. AutoCAD 2014 also includes enhanced geolocation capabilities and a new Live Maps feature, which enables you to easily connect your designs to the world around you. Live Maps supports key workflows like locating drawings and site analysis. Geolocation capabilities allow you to locate and view designs in the real world, as well as aggregate and overlay 2D and 3D geolocated data within your designs. Now, in addition to energy analysis of conceptual massing elements in Revit 2014, you can perform energy analysis using detailed Revit models. The building elements simulation option creates an energy analytical model directly from your Revit building elements and sends it to Autodesk Green Building Studio for simulation using Department of Energy's 2.2. Once the analysis is complete, you can review and compare results as you continue to iterate the model and inform your design decisions. This new feature works both with and without the placement of Revit room and space objects, facilitating whole building energy simulation with as little as one click. The tool also accounts for more complex model geometry like sloped walls, varying wall thickness, and plume spaces. There's no need to prepare the model for analysis or rebuild a separate model so you can conduct more reliable, repeatable, whole building energy analysis with less time and scale. In this release, the structural analytical model was improved in several different areas. First, there are enhancements to help create and manage the structural analytical model. You can now create filters based on the connection status parameter for greater control over the analytical model. You can also now adjust analytical walls in relation to nodes of analytical floors and analytical foundation slabs. You also have the ability to schedule analytical and physical element properties together in a single schedule. When you schedule the structural framing category or any other category with associated structural analytical model categories, you now have the ability to schedule the properties of the analytical elements together in the same schedule. The same capability exists when you schedule the analytical elements. These feature enhancements improve your ability within Revit to manipulate the analytical model to help solve round-tripping issues between Revit and structural analysis software. The structural analysis and code checking toolkit for Autodesk Revit software is a suite of tools that supports the BIM process and allows structural engineers to analyze and check their structure from within the Revit environment. It can be downloaded from the Autodesk Exchange app's website for free. Using this toolkit, structural engineers and designers can optimize their workflows in the cloud and on the desktop by using the analytical model built in Autodesk Revit to conduct cloud-based structural analysis with Autodesk 360 services and by extending the Revit model to Autodesk Robot Structural Analysis Professional software or supported third-party analysis solutions. Once complete, analysis results can be easily stored and explored in the Revit environment. Structural results storage and results exploration tools delivered by the toolkit allow you to explore and document results so you can gain knowledge of structure's behavior, 
get insight in consolidated and detailed results, and make appropriate design decisions. Using the toolkit, structural engineers can also verify and design structural elements according to local building codes and regulations, which can be easily and quickly implemented by using the code checking framework. The goal of the new structural code checking platform feature is to give Revit users the ability to perform a code checking process inside a native Revit model. The results of the code checking add-ins may be delivered in a form of structural results, which is visualized in a form of diagrams and maps, calculation notes, or model and documentation updates. With the new Displaced Elements feature, you can create exploded views of any 3D view, including this perspective view. Exploded views can be used to illustrate the relationship model elements have to the model as a whole. This information can be used in construction documents to show design intent. In any 3D view, including perspective, model elements can be moved by using the Displaced Elements tool. You use this tool to create displacement sets and move them along their X, Y, and Z axes to a specified distance away from the model. Then you can draw paths that connect these elements back to their original model location. Visualize the building elements and how they are connected with the ability to create exploded 3D diagram views. Revit 2014 features fairly dramatic performance improvements that can seriously impact productivity. In this release, you have an option to temporarily suspend certain features that affect the display of the model. This option improves performance when you're navigating a 2D view or a 3D view in ways that manipulate the camera. Performance improvements help deliver a smoother experience when working on Revit projects of any size. And moving on to 3DS Max Design, which is in the Premium and Ultimate Editions of the Suite. An exciting new feature enables you to bring worlds to life in a few simple steps with the new crowd animation feature. Offering high level control of plausible human animation, Populate enables you to more quickly and easily generate moving or idle crowds within selected areas of a scene to enrich presentations with realistic human activity. Populate comes with a set of animations and characters for use in common public settings such as sidewalks, public spaces, hallways, lobbies, and plazas. Crowd composition tools enable you to connect walkways into patterns of pedestrian flow. The Enhanced Perspective Match feature enables artists to interactively match the camera view of a scene to the perspective of a photo background. With this feature, artists can more easily place a model into the context of a still frame photographic background. Autodesk AutoCAD Raster Design is a powerful raster editing and raster to vector conversion tool that helps increase the visual information on a building plan. So, to go into a little more detail about Revit, let's talk about the schedule enhancements. Improvements in Revit 2014 give you more control of schedule formatting and increased access to data within BIM. These enhancements can help you with text and table formatting for better customization and more intuitive access to parameters. Text properties and table formatting improvements help give you more control to make your schedules look the way that you want. The new non-rectangular crop tool gives you increased flexibility when you are documenting new and existing layouts and can save you time by eliminating cumbersome workarounds. Using new tools on the modify and draw panels, you can edit the crop region as needed. You can modify the existing lines or delete the lines and sketch a completely different shape. And don't worry, the reset crop feature changes the edited crop region to a rectangular shape and all changes made in sketch mode are discarded. This allows easier presentation of reference model areas and gives more efficient documentation layout. One of the goals for AutoCAD 2014 was to make efficiency improvements for all users. As a result, this release includes a focus on improving the command line. Autocorrection has been added to the command line, which automatically spell checks a user's input and offers suggestions from a synonym, synonym list. This helps compensate for user error to boost your efficiency. 
The 2014 release of AutoCAD also automatically learns how to improve your efficiency over time. When you type in the command line, it offers a list of suggested commands. It also learns the commands you use most often so that they come to the top of the command line when you start typing. AutoCAD MEP 2014 introduces a new set to layer 0 command. This time saving command allows you to change the layer of all drawing entities to layer 0 in a single click. The new block swap command allows block instances to be assigned a different definition without recreating or inserting the block. The AutoCAD command line search feature has been extended to include MEP system names so you can more quickly in primary objects add primary objects for existing selected styles. Increase productivity with the ability to access and edit content more quickly and easily with the enhanced content builder navigation. With project information file backup, in the rare case where an APG file becomes corrupted, you will no longer need to rebuild the project file from scratch. The new display order by layer tool allows you to display the order of the elements in your drawing the way you want them for better documentation. With the enhancements to the annotation and unit scaling, you can create more accurate construction documents with properly scaled tags, text, and other annotation. The enhanced layer standards mean you no longer need to modify layer names manually to comply with the United States NCS 5.0. With automated property set definitions, you can create more accurate schedules and quantity takeoff calculations. And now that we've covered what's new in the suite, I'd like to present how you can use the workflows enabled by the products in the suite to address specific building engineering challenges and help you meet client requirements, win more business, and increase profitability. Managing coordination throughout design project. Coordination throughout the design process is a necessity and not just something you do at the end of a project. Architects, MEP, and structural engineers alike are responsible for ensuring that the project is fully coordinated to minimize on-site issues that are cost prohibitive to the building owner. Autodesk Building Information Modeling Software, included in the Autodesk Building Design Suite Premium and Ultimate Editions, enables architects and engineers to detect clashes and interferences in real time between building elements anytime during the design process. Minimizing clashes during design helps reduce change orders that can delay projects and be costly. Autodesk Revit allows engineers and architects to better coordinate and easily make design changes. Revit's parametric modeling features help ensure that a change anywhere in the design is reflected in every view of the design model and supporting documentation. The internal interference tools in Revit help building professionals visualize how the existing structure the new construction and the building systems all fit together, enabling you to make design corrections faster with more informed decisions. Through this collaborative BIM process, you are able to identify and resolve interferences and other issues early in the design phase before they impact construction costs and schedules. The ability to view the interference report and show the class clash in the BIM model helps you to quickly resolve the clash and rerun the report to show that the issue has been resolved until all clashes have been eliminated. All views within the model and construction documents have been updated allowing for a fully coordinated and consistent model. Autodesk Revit in the Building Design Suite allows architects and engineers to more effectively collaborate and interact based on workflow and project requirements. Optimizing building energy performance. Building performance analysis, or BPA, provides unique insights into the energy and environmental performance of buildings at any stage in their life cycle, from concept design through to operation and renovation. This is invaluable to delivering and maintaining higher performing buildings more cost effectively and with greater certainty, both of which are critically important investment factors for building owners today. 
Autodesk Revit included in the Autodesk Building Design Suite Premium and Ultimate Editions, as well as Energy Analysis for Revit and Autodesk Green Building Studio, or GBS, which are available to Building Design Suite subscription customers, contain unique capabilities that greatly reduce the time and skill required to conduct more reliable whole building energy simulation, which is a key foundation of BPA. In the early design stage, architects and MEP engineers can use energy analysis for Revit, a cloud-based service to conduct whole building energy analysis using conceptual massing elements for simulation. Using conceptual massing elements enables you to quickly create complex building design iterations with mass floors for whole building energy analysis. Set the minimal energy settings that are required like the location for accurate weather data and building type to run an energy simulation. In addition to energy analysis of conceptual massing elements, Revit elements and features can be used to meet different energy analysis needs throughout the process from concept to detailed design. You can perform energy analysis using detailed Revit models and building elements simulation option recreates an energy analytical model directly from your Revit building elements and sends it to Autodesk Green Building Studio for simulation using DOE 2.2. This feature works both with and without the placement of Revit room or space objects, thereby facilitating whole building energy simulation with as little as one click. The tool also accounts for more complex model geometry like sloped walls, varying wall thickness, and plenum spaces. There is no need to prepare a model for analysis or rebuild a separate model. This innovative al algorithm automatically identifies and places analytical spaces and surfaces and creates GBXML for use in third-party energy analysis tools. Once the analysis is complete, you can review and compare results as you continue to iterate the model and inform your design decisions. You can view the annual energy usage and cost for the building including HVAC and lighting as well as water usage and cost. Autodesk provides extensive report support for BPA industry standard file exchange formats that allow extension of workflows into a wide range of third-party BPA tools. Autodesk Revit and Autodesk Green Building Studio can help make BPA significantly faster and more reliable, enabling you to design and deliver higher performing buildings. Architects and MEP engineers can adopt more scalable, cohesive BPA workflows to fit into your standard processes using Autodesk Building Design Suite and Autodesk Subscription Benefits. St Structural Analysis in Building Design Suite 2014 Structural engineers and designers must perform calculations such as static analysis as a necessary part of the design process for any building structural project. Traditionally, conducting structural analysis is time sensitive, intensive, requiring extensive computing power. However, with the structural analysis for Autodesk Revit service, a designer or engineer can continue their design in Revit while static analysis is performed in the cloud. As analysis is conducted, designers and engineers can work on structural documentation or run parallel analysis, helping to increase productivity. Structural analysis is available to Autodesk subscription customers of Autodesk Building Design Suite 2014 Premium and Ultimate Editions during the term of their subscription. When analysis is complete, a notification of completion is delivered within the Revit design environment. The results can be explored via a calculation note offering quick insight into conclusions. Detailed results and visualizations can also be downloaded for viewing and further exploration. Interpretation of diagrams and maps of internal forces allow designers and engineers to make design decisions earlier in the process. Structural analysis complements the Autodesk structural engineering portfolio by integrating analysis into the BIM process. Early analysis helps the structural engineer communicate intent to stakeholders and helps to validate the performance of the structure. The advanced link between Audish Revit and Audish Robot Structural Analysis Professional Software is a fully bi-directional link. 
This link streamlines structural engineering workflows by facilitating the coordination of design documentation with structural analytical, analytical design information. Many different types of analysis are available within Robot Structural Analysis Professional software, including linear static, module, nonlinear, seismic, time history analysis, etc., etc. These analyses cover any type of analysis that a structural engineer would have to conduct during a project. Robot Structural Analysis Professional is the powerful tool not only for calculations but also for visually exploring results. Thanks to many different ways of presenting analytical results and the ease of access to them, structural engineers can very quickly prepare the final structural documentation for review and input by project stakeholders. Design to Structural Detailing and Fabrication After the code checking phase, all design information is leveraged during the structural detailing stage. For some structural engineers and designers, the documentation process extends beyond what are traditionally considered construction documents to fabrication or shop drawings. With the Building Design Suite and a valid subscription, structural engineers can share their designs with other extended teams, detailers, drafters, and fabricators using Revit extensions. Theoretical reinforcement data designed in Robot Structural Analysis Professional can be visualized in Autodesk Revit and used during modeling a 3D reinforcement in concrete elements. Also to support this workflow, the Building Design Suite includes AutoCAD Structural Detailing. Built on the familiar Autodesk AutoCAD software platform, it's structural engineering software for steel and concrete structures. The AutoCAD Structural Detailing link is used to send the steel or concrete model information from the Revit model environment to AutoCAD Structural Detailing. Autodesk AutoCAD Structural Detailing software help structural engineers, detailers, and fabricators create more precise detailing and fabrication shop drawings. These highly detailed drawings fully represent all pieces, connections, and other structural elements, reinforcement and steel connections, exactly as they will be purchased and assembled. This model information includes detailed reinforcement, concrete geometry, as well as steel framing. Once the model is in AutoCAD Structural Detailing, the detailer can begin the process of supplementing the basic structural geometry with more detailed steel connections information. Once the model has been supplemented with all desired connection and detail information for steel detailing, AutoCAD Structural Detailing provides an automatic generation of shop drawings and material takeoffs capabilities. Also, AutoCAD Structural Detailing provides direct links to computer, numeric controlled, or CNC fabrication machines through DSTV format, helping to minimize redundant data input for the fabrication of steel parts. AutoCAD Structural Detailing supports the BIM process for structural engineering by extending structural design workflows to fabrication, enabling a more efficient and accurate process for creating fabrication details and drawings. Next, moving to BIM. So, earlier we talked about the value of BIM and how it's changing the AEC industry, the short and long-term benefits of BIM, and the adoption level by discipline. All of which is pointing to the fact that BIM is now a key part of this industry. So, how do you move to BIM and what are the barriers that you might face? Our most successful customers have realized that BIM is first and foremost a business decision. They have clearly identified how BIM will support their organization's strategy and that there is a common vision built on business objectives. They have also acknowledged that BIM is a management decision. Adequate resources have to be committed to meet these goals. Most projects will fail without proper resources. 
Last but not least, BIM involves changing existing processes if you want to realize the bigger benefits of BIM. You will restrict your return on investment if you simply replace CAD with BIM tools in your existing processes. So, what do you think about when moving to BIM? First of all, you need to develop a strategy, and this should be uh, assessing awe and establishing the following. What is the current state of your business BIM capabilities? How does moving to BIM align with your business goals? And does introducing BIM into your business change how you prioritize these business goals? Once you have assessed and answered these questions, you need to define a roadmap for implementing BIM into your business. This roadmap can detail how to do this at either an enterprise or on a project level, or both. Once you have identified your strategy and created a roadmap, you can move into the implementation and integration stage. This stage involves people, processes, and technology. Overall, you are creating the new standards and processes that your business will use. There are a number of interdependent pieces including building a data model, integrating the model with analysis tools, collaboration methods and tools, data management, and quality control. The aim is to deliver processes and tools which provide the ability for you to generate your project deliverables. This box indicates your deliverables to your customers. This diagram is a simple representation of the implementation and integration workflow. The circular arcs are to communicate an interdependency of these activities. It's not to be a specific path. So number one, have a plan on how to use BIM on a project. Number two, implement the new process and technology by doing the following. Define the data model and content standards. Integrate analysis tools to assess or test your design. Collaborate with others on your design. Manage your design files. And ensure quality models. Last of all, ensure that you can produce or generate your project deliverables. So start by analysis, analyzing your ability to introduce or change to your environment. This can include identifying a formal training group, established change management procedures, constraints such as union agreements, etc., etc. Then inventory all of the knowledge and skills your staff needs to successfully leverage BIM. Look for the changes from your existing methods and tools. This can include any changes to your company's approval processes, changes to a staff member's job function, and specific product functions. Then define the learning paths required for staff to acquire these new skills. Next, identify and develop the methods and tools to be applied for your environment. This could include instructor-led training, custom training materials, webcast, external or internal user support staff, vbooks, community development, internal blogs, and a lot more. Finally, deliver the training, mentoring, and support to your user community. So, what are your next steps? Now that you've had a chance to discover the new Autodesk Building Design Suite, here are some next steps for you to take away from today. To determine if the Autodesk Building Design Suite is right for you, please call us to talk to our friendly and knowledgeable sales staff. You can also visit our BIM Configurator page at the website there, autodesk-build-today.com slash BIM Configurator slash Sterling Systems LLC. You can also visit us online at sterlingsystemsusa.com. Thank you again today for joining us. We'll be available online to continue answering any and all of your questions.